back home and I feel like crap. I haven't vlogged in ages. I think that's what uh, get me in this kind of rut. In this rut at the moment, I feel like I'm living the same day over and over again. I've only been home for three days as well. <laughs> but back home, back in the studio. I like to call it a studio, it's just my bedroom. I like to be cool. But I'm back in the studio. I'm uh, currently making a website for my company. And then just, I, I, do you know what? I couldn't even tell you what I've been doing for the last three days. I genuinely couldn't. I've done stuff. It just all kind of blends into one. Gonna do some editing later though. Looking forward to doing that. And then I think tonight I'm just gonna chill out. It's a Friday. If by the sounds of my voice, you probably think it's like the morning. It's not, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. I know I look like I just got out of bed, but um, yeah, this isn't a vlog, this is a video. My vlog series is kind of taking, it's on a hiatus, it's on a stop for the time being. There's nothing to record I'm at home. I might do a bit of recording, because we're coming out of a different stage of lockdown. By Monday, we can move with six people outside, which is absolutely brilliant to hear. I'm so looking forward to doing that. So it's not all doom and gloom. All, all is good in the world. Well, no, not all is good. It's still a very much a pandemic but i'm wearing mismatched socks today look i got ducks and then turtles and this one so ducks and turtles how cool is that um, but today i'm not talking about my socks this is a review of my spring term usually known as the busy term and that definitely was the case i think no i'm gonna start off by saying it was crap and that's not me saying that the uni i chose is bad i'm saying that university experience in second term it has been awful i think i can speak that on behalf of perhaps the whole cohort as well as most university students, we've had an absolutely crap time. I mean, we've been in lockdown for over a year. Very easy to understand our frustrations here. The second term in a row, the year above, this, their, their third term in a row of not being able to have the proper uni experience we were promised and what we're actually paying for, we pay money for this learning. It is a tad annoying that schools can go back and we can't, for a practical subject especially, that we can't be there to do it. It's very hard to do a practical degree in your bedroom. This term compared to last term, society still can't go ahead. It's been a nightmare. It's at, It's been very, very hard to keep motivated, to keep going for a lot of people. Personally, I have a lot of love for my degree. And I think that's what the kind of thing that's kept me going. Um, and I know that's the same for quite a lot of other people where they you know that if they just bear with this upcoming term we already have practicals put in place fingers crossed they can still go ahead and then hopefully next year what's a very practical year is that we actually get to have that and i'm sure everyone's in the same boat here that we kind of i think collectively everyone's just a bit sick and tired of it so in terms of adapting to online learning have i learned stuff this term absolutely yes i feel this is not me having a go at york i think in general the university i chose they've been they've been pretty good when it comes to checking you on your mental health as well as being responsive to online learning and being able to do that. So I am still able to learn with some of my modules. Obviously it's very hard for some of the other modules and I completely, completely, completely from the bottom of my heart thank my department that I work within. I feel like they've been absolutely brilliant when it comes to adapting to online situations. It's not only hard for us to adapt to doing online learning, it's also hard for the lecturers and the teachers to do that as well. Obviously they're not the ones who are causing the pandemic. It, this isn't the worst case scenario. This could be an even worse case scenario. I'm in a fortunate position where I'm still able to learn. I'm still learning online. I still can do my modules and I still feel fairly somewhat prepared for this upcoming term and next year. From youth, I'm, I'm in my first year, obviously this is going to be a lot different response in third and second years. Um, so luckily our modules this year are quite theory based as well as story modules, and reading modules and whatnot. You know, from a social side of things, um, obviously only being able to socialise with your flat has been, uh, has had its challenges. Obviously, nine people, including myself, within a flat, sharing a kitchen, there's gonna be problems. Uh, we met in September, and luckily, my flat, we, we get on fairly well, uh, to the point where we're comfortable. We're comfortable with how we're living. It's it's hard, you know, it's hard to have fun. Because, you know, you, we work very hard. The workload's been very tough. I brought my Xbox to uni this term. I plugged it in once, and then not being able to have the social side and relax, it's gonna, it's gonna have a toll on you. It's gonna have a toll on everyone. I feel like everyone collectively agrees that. And when we come out of lockdown, it's still gonna have effects. But I'm hopeful. So I am extremely hopeful for next term. I feel like it's gonna be the best term of uni. <laughs> the thing is, this term sucks. It sucks at school as well because it's dark. Last term, it was dark, but it was Christmas. There's Christmas lights everywhere. Everyone's feeling festive. Christmas is coming up, the excitement around that being able to go shopping. You know, no one cares if it's dark if you're wearing a hoodie and it's Christmas. You can wear a Santa hat, mix it up. D damp, dark and miserable. <laughs> because there's nothing to look forward to. What are you gonna do in the dark, you know? But we're seeing positive change. Next term, hopefully we genuinely start seeing a return to more in-person stuff. I booked a holiday the other night. 
I'm very looking forward to that and fingers crossed it can still go ahead and I'm just hoping now that when we transition out of this global pandemic we, we learn to utilise how important those times are we don't know what's happening in the future but I just hope that when we do get to cherish the good times we cherish all the good times so it, it sucks <laughs> it does uh, I think waiting it out it, the future's looking bright uh, physically brighter because of the time difference time joke god at least we have some great stories to tell our grandkids that's it's the main thing right that's it for this video out of all in all this term gets a four out of ten um <laughs> the last term was probably about uh, i think a six i gave it a six or a seven eight out of ten i'll be absolutely thrilled with just because it's a four doesn't mean it's awful i'm still enjoying it enough to go back for another term uh, this isn't on york's performance i think this is just as a general consensus of the whole country. I know pretty much everyone's in the same boat. I'm being very general with it. I have no problems with that whatsoever. I have no problems with my learning. That's it. That's my video. Thank you for watching and me complaining about the last mm, two months, three months. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> and I'll see you soon in more videos up to coming. Up to coming? Nice. I'll see you in more videos upcoming. I have some fun stuff planned. I look forward to it. So take care everyone and goodbye. Woo.